I'm going to show you the formal British way to eat a candy apple. Candy maker William Kolb is credited with inventing the first candy apple in New Jersey in 1908. Kolb was experimenting with his confectionery and discovered the technique. He dipped apples on sticks into a red glaze and then displayed them in his shop window as a way to entice adults and children alike into his shop. But instead of selling his candies, he sold the apples themselves for five cents each. Kolb realised that this was a road to success. They spread across the country, being used in circuses and even on the Jersey Shore. In the 1900s, candy apples became popular to hand out to trick-or-treaters at Halloween. An urban legend started that there were hidden razor blades within candy apples, and this dropped the popularity. But thankfully, the one in front of me is completely safe to eat. I'm going to show you how best to approach eating the candy apple. Now, there are two ways. The candy apple in front of me has been prepared by the chef and a stick has been placed within it. At fine dining restaurants, the dining experience can be less than usual. And if the chef has prepared it with a stick, the chef wants you to use the stick to eat it. If the candy apple was on my plate without a stick, I would use a knife and fork, cutting through the centre of the apple and then eating piece by piece. However, you will be pleased to hear that in this instance, the chef has given me a stick and thus I will eat it with the stick itself. In a formal setting, one is always led by the chef and how they prepare the dish with the wait staff placing the appropriate cutlery next to you. So it would be rude not to use the stick to eat the apple. I pick up the candy apple with the stick, lift the candy apple into the air. Now, with one neat, delicate bite, I'm going to nibble at the candy edge. Do not go for the base of the apple, as your nose will get covered in candy. I'm going to approach eating the candy apple from the top of the apple and work my way down. Remember, we always try to keep the stickiness to a minimum. In one neat, delicate bite, I take a small nibble on the side of the candy apple. What I love about the candy apple is the explosion of caramelised hard sugar in your mouth, but also the lovely sweet taste of the apple. I prefer the taste of the apple. So I'm going to go back in for a second bite and take a nibble of the apple itself. I continue to work my way around the top section of the candy apple, much like eating an ice cream. I then eat the centre of the apple and work my way all the way down. This is a decadent sugary treat. In between bites, I may place the apple down on its side or back onto its convenient little base. The wine I choose to pair my candy apple with is a Pinot Grigio. Perfectly dry to complement the sweetness of the apple and candy. Happy Halloween!